Hi, Kelly Fitzmorris. I'm Hannah with the K Grant Group. We're here today to provide you guys an Arizona market update. What's going on right now? And we're going to jump into the Cromford Index. Yes, we are going to share our screen. We're going to keep it short and sweet today. Just kind of go over yes. what we're seeing in the market. Supply and demand. Yep, and changes in rates. That's so right. um, this is obviously the Cromford Market Index, and this is what it looks like to be in a balanced market. <laughs> balanced market. We really haven't seen too many of those since 2014. We hardly since ever the see COVID it. craziness, right? Yes, so hardly ever. What does that mean? So basically, we have been watching decline. Uh, demand decline for months because mm -hmm. rates have maintained, you know, right around seven and a half percent. They even reached eight percent. That's terrible for demand. So this line that you see down here, we have seen it kind of dropping. Um, it has now gone flat. Um, supply is somewhat flat. And so we have this balanced market. Yes. Um, so sellers are really kind of staying on the sidelines saying, you know what, I'm going to maybe wait for this market to change before I decide to sell. So that's kind of causing that to go flat. And then also we have a lot of buyers at the same time that are deciding to kind of sideline because they're waiting for those interest rates to drop. Yes, they are. And then on top of that, we have a price per square foot. Our list price is flat as well. Mm -hmm. So if you were to add back in the sales over a million, you would have seen prices come down a bit. We have seasonality in our market. The luxury market really cools off in the summertime. They do not like the heat. They do not like the heat and I don't no. blame them. Yeah. So they're not here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but if you take those sales out and you just look at the other 80% of sales that happen in Arizona in the Maricopa County area, um, under a million, that is a flat line. Yes, so we have a balanced market. We have a flat price line. Um, we have concessions. We are still seeing concessions on contracts at 55%. Um, that's about 10,000 is the average right now per contract. So 55% of all contracts right now have about 10,000 in concession amounts on them if they do have concessions. So if you are a buyer, this is the perfect market for the imperfect buyer. You have a home to sell. So mm -hmm. your offer is contingent. You need those concessions for a rate buy down. You maybe have less of a down payment to put down. You are essentially an imperfect buyer that you have some strings attached to your offer. This is your market. Yes, it is. And you know whether it's the closing cost or you need that rate buy down. On this next slide here, we have the um, cities that are in seller's markets, the one that are in balanced markets and the other ones that are in buyer's markets where we're kind of getting our balance between the cities. Um, one thing to kind of note in those balance and buyer's markets, we're going to be able to negotiate more of seller concessions for you um, than we are going to be in the actual seller's market. But also note, if there are properties within these seller's markets that have been on past their days on market for that particular city, we're able to negotiate with that seller and able to get that, those concessions for you. Yeah. If you're seeing, so, you know, obviously as a whole, the market is in balance. There are cities that are less balanced than others. So, you know, Chandler is still kind of holding strong. Fountain Hill is still holding strong. So our negotiating room might be a little bit less in those areas, but if a home has been on the market, 60, 70 days, we can negotiate all day long. But then you also have fantastic areas like Queen Creek, Peoria, Surprise that are in balance or in a buyer market even, mm -hmm. that you have a fantastic opportunity as that imperfect buyer that needs a little bit of leg room. Absolutely. All right. Um, the feds, guys, are meeting on the 18th. Um, so we are expecting that they are going to decrease mortgage rates, okay? Um, since last year in October, we've been seeing interest rates be high and we're setting now at 642 FHA is at 5.86. Okay. So that's actually coming down, which is nice. Um, starting to get a lot more phone calls from buyers. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that they're running contracts, they're looking at stuff. They are, these are the lowest rates we've seen since, mm -hmm. you know, April of last year. So this time last year, we were on an upward slope mm -hmm. all the way to 8%. Now, over the last few months, we've seen them drop over a full percentage point. So this is huge for buyers. We're going to show you a breakdown of some of those numbers, but we want you to keep in mind that as rates come down, that flat demand line that we showed you before is going to start to tick back up. So if you, if now is your time to buy, you're in kind 
kind of the sweet spot where prices are flat, the market is balanced and rates are trickling down. Um, and once again, if you are not the so perfect buyer and you need to sell your property first, um, you know, if we're not in a balanced market, we have a harder time getting the contingency through. Or if you do need some of those concessions, right, we can help you navigate that. We are the experts. We are the agents. Um, and we can kind of go through that. And this slide here, we're going to go through a 2-1 buy down. Whereas if you were to ask the seller for a concession to do a 2-1 buy down rate on current rates today. So I'm going to let Hannah take you through that scenario at 350000 And this is your traditional conventional buyer. You're a conventional buyer. Maybe you're putting 5% down. Um, you lock in a 30-year rate at 6.43. Well, then we're in a market where I get you ten or $15,000 in concessions. Now we're using that to buy your rate down to 4.43. That is a fantastic rate. And you are, let's, you know, call it, you're a buyer in that $500,000 price range. You are saving between five and $600 a month on your payment. And for a lot of people, that's the difference between buying that home and not buying that home altogether. It's a 20% difference between the mortgage you could have gotten a few months ago versus today. Um, so 6.43, not a bad rate by any means, but let's capitalize on the fact that we can still get you concessions and get you even a better rate than that. Call us if you have any questions. We're here to guide you through the process. Once again, want to reinforce, we really feel like from now until the end of the year, we're going to be able to get these concessions for you. Uh, just a reminder, always in January kicks off our selling season here in Arizona. Fourth quarter is kind of a little bit more seasonality wise, a little bit slower. But as long as we're seeing this and mortgage rates do come down a little bit, it's going to be a perfect time to have those conversations with us. And we can go through all the different scenarios with you to find that dream house or maybe it's the next transition house, or maybe your first house. Absolutely. And I think it's important. I know a lot of buyers, you're always trying to time the market. When is the perfect time to buy? Our job is to be here to not let you miss that boat. Mm -hmm. Right now really is that kind of sweet spot. You're in a balanced a sweet market. Spot. You've got room to negotiate. So don't wait too long until that buyer until that buyer demand catches up with us. Mm -hmm. um, let's get your feet wet. Let's get you back into the buyer pool. Um, get you in touch with a lender and answer any questions you have. Thank you so much. We're here to help.